how to implement the data structure of a stack in Python. We will use the built-in data structure provided by Python, which is the list. The list data structure already supports appending and popping elements with a time complexity and space complexity, complexity of O of 1, which is the desired complexities for a stack. It is worth mentioning that we could have implemented a linked list and then use a linked list to implement a stack, but that requires more work and we could already use the built-in data structure by Python, which is the list. So let's begin with implementing the init function, which is the constructor function. And for that, we'll just set um, a new property called stack to be an empty list. So self stack equals new empty list. And the time and space complexity of this is just O of 1. Now for the push function, we want to append a new element to the end of our list. So for that, we could uh, use self stack and then append with the value that we receive. And we want to return the value that we just uh, pushed. For that, the time and space complexity is just, just O of 1. Pick. For pick, we want to pick at the latest element that we pushed into the stack if the stack is not empty. So let's make sure that the stack is not empty. If not self stack, we just return none. But if it's not empty, then we could use um, the access or get function already implemented by Python. So return self stack and we'll use the index minus one, which means the latest or the last element in the list, which is actually the last element that we appended into the list. And for that, uh, the time and space complexity are uh, complexities are O of 1. Okay, for pop, we want to pop the last element from the right, the last element that we pushed into the stack. And for that, we'll just use the pop function already provided by Python. So, so oh, and we have to make sure that the stack is not empty. So if not self stack, then the stack is empty, just return none. But uh, yeah. else, we want to return the element that we would pop from our list, which is our stack. So return self stack pop. And for that, uh, the time and space complexities are O of 1. Time and space O of 1. Okay, uh, for print stack, we want to print each element in our list uh, from the latest, from the last one to the latest, from left to right. So uh, let's use a for loop for E in self stack, we want to print the element and we don't want to print a new line. So we use the end parameter to just be uh, a, a space. And at the end, we want to print a new line. And for that, the time complexity is O of 1 because we go through all of the elements in our stack and the space complexity is O of 1 because we store each element in memory, uh, only one element in memory at a time. Okay, and for the last function, empty, uh, if we want to empty the stack, we just want to set our stack to be a new list, a new empty list. So for that, we'll set uh, self stack to be an empty list. And for that, the time and space complexities are O of 1. Amazing. Okay, now for the next step, let's uh, test our code. So for that, let's create a new terminal and let's run our code. Uh, Python, I use Python 3 and we'll call the file stack and let's run the code. Okay, so we want to pick the empty stack and we expect none and we did receive none. Now we want to uh, pick a stack after we pushed 5, 3, 19, 11, 0, and 2. So the last element that we pushed was 2, so we expect pick to return 2 and we did receive 2. Now we want to print the stack and it is uh, from the last uh, from the last element that we pushed into the uh, to the latest. So from left to right, 5, 3, 19, 11, 0, 2, which is uh, according to the order we pushed the elements, 5, 3, 19, 11, 0, 2. Now uh, let's pop three elements from our stack. Pop, pop, and the third element that we will pop, we even want to print it. Okay, after popping three elements, now let's print the stack. We expect it to, uh, the stack to look like 5, 3, 19, and indeed we receive 5, 3, 19. And at the end, let's call the empty function, and then we want to print the stack, and the stack is just empty. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video valuable, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and see you at the next video. Thank you.